I studied PPE and that uh, really helped with my economics project because I could bring in lots of different sources of knowledge from different places that all fed into my work in economics. Um, and also within the PPE program I could specialise in economics so I actually do an economics major and do many of the same modules that economics students do and I've really enjoyed that uh, and that's something I'd like to pursue further once I graduate. When I was in uh, my year out I was on a year abroad in Australia. Uh, I was studying a wide range of things and this actually led to some of the inspiration for my RAE. So one of the modules I took there was economics of climate change uh, and within that topic there's a big debate about how to think about the future or uh, whether people in the future should be valued the same as people today and how to discount the future um, and that tied in with what I was interested in and it ultimately became the project of my RE. Uh, the topic of my RE was how people think about future payoffs and whether they do so consistently uh, and in particular I collected data from economic students so I distributed a survey that I made myself uh, and I was investigating whether economic students were more rational or followed the conventional economic model more closely in their behaviour than non-economic students. One of the, well, the challenges that came up from the project was I uh, found a completely unexpected type of result where people were future biased and this has only been referenced two or three times in the literature. Um, so that was a bit of an obstacle but it was also a great opportunity to investigate this issue further and to try and understand why and it was great because it's something that nobody had really done before or at least it had been done once before but I could go into a much greater level of detail because of the nature of my data. Uh, my supervisor was really helpful in this project because she had actually worked on a similar uh, topic of how people discount um, and I was able to use and adapt her methodology to uh, my own way, my own collection of data from economic students and that was, um, that was really helpful and she was just very supportive in uh, identifying relevant bits of literature and yeah, really helpful throughout. So one of the key skills I learned from this uh, project was that I should trust myself um, in my ability to overcome uh, problems. So before I, because I was collecting my own data, I was worrying quite a lot about whether the data would be good enough to analyse. Uh, and instead I needed to, and ultimately, it wasn't quite what I was expecting, but that was an opportunity to investigate why it was unexpected further. And that was actually beneficial to the project as a whole, I think. My advice to uh, future students doing an RAE would be two main things. If there's something you're interested in, even if it's uh, uh, something that might be difficult if you're having to collect your own data and that's a bit unconventional, uh, if you're really interested in it, go for it, because I did that uh, and it worked out really well, I think. Um, and secondly, uh, trust yourself to overcome problems. Don't worry too much. Um, yeah, just try and adapt to what the issues that, that come up. For the next couple of years I'm doing a Teach First programme, so I'm going to be teaching maths in a secondary school, uh, but then after that I'd like to come back to study economics um, at a postgraduate level and maybe explore some of the research I've done here uh, at a greater level.